sometimes you forget the awesomeness of nature until you actually go outside and check it out. You see that? Just a, probably a California condor, I don't know. Anyways, great day out here. Couple things. I wanna do a book review of a book that I just recently finished. But first, let's go over a couple of my favorite movies. Music Within, a great little tale about an almost true story about the uh, ADA and stuff. You can relate with bike lanes. Great stuff. Charlie Wilson's War. Another R-rated flick. Great movie, again, potentially true. And Maud. My boy, Matthew McConaughey. I don't care, now let's get to the real thing. Let's get to the meat. Let's get to the book review because reading is awesome. That's right. That's right for all the kids watching the channel. Reading is awesome. If we can get it out of the bag. Woo, that Timbuktu is tight on me. We've got to loosen those straps. Okay, so here's the book. Here's the book. Hi. Here's the book called The Last Days of Night. We're talking about the, um, the electrification wars, the grid wars, where in the, like the 1890s or so, uh, you had Edison vying for DC current and Tesla inventing AC and then Westinghouse pushing AC Kern as the winner. And Graham Moore does a compelling and excellent and entertaining job of documenting this. Now, it is fake, but it also feels real. Um, here he is. He's also written the screenplay for um, The Imitation Game, which is a good flick if you've seen that. Um, but overall, I love the details of covering Tesla and Edison in, uh, in this book. They did work together for a little bit. I thought that was interesting to kind of uncover some of the true history that he, that he dives into. And then of course with, you know, what it would be like to actually talk to some of these characters, you know? And uh, yeah, overall great read. Um, it was so entertaining, I found it quick. I just gotta remember, it is fake with the biasness of true. pretty funny I love the comments and I am NOT Jerry Seinfeld although I appreciate the attempt to try to make the conversion between someone talking on a bike and someone talking in a car and drinking coffee That's the sake. 